This is the first of a three-part series on how to configure a sync between two Macs using a ChronoAgent connection, with ChronoSync installed on one Mac and ChronoAgent on the other Mac. This first screencast will deal with configuring ChronoAgent on the ChronoAgent Mac. Begin by launching System Preferences and clicking the ChronoAgent icon. This will open ChronoAgent to the Status panel. Click the padlock to enter your name and password and unlock the System Preferences. Now switch to the General panel. Begin by giving the ChronoAgent a meaningful name. This is what will be displayed when choosing this ChronoAgent from within ChronoSync. Leave port number set to automatic, so ChronoAgent will automatically choose an open port. The port can be set manually by selecting Manual from the pop-up and entering a port number. A username and password must be entered into ChronoAgent. This username and password will be used to connect to the ChronoAgent when configuring the connection in ChronoSync. Your ChronoAgent has now been configured and may be turned on to make it available on your network. However, there are several additional settings you may want to consider. You access these by switching to the Advanced panel. Start with Security. These settings include encryption strength for secure connections, the ability to require all connections to be secure, and the ability to enable backwards compatibility with older versions of ChronoSync, which uses a less robust security protocol. If the sync is being run over an open wireless connection, security should be enabled to prevent eavesdropping on the file transfers. There are additional settings that can be configured via the Settings pop-up. WAN access should be configured if the sync is being run over the Internet. User paths can be configured to limit access to certain volumes on the ChronoAgent Mac. User group mapping settings are used to make ChronoAgent aware of directory services if utilized in an enterprise environment. Finally, miscellaneous deals with settings related to the ChronoAgent monitor found in the menu bar of the ChronoAgent Mac. With everything configured, toggle the Start switch to start ChronoAgent. Then, switch to the Status panel to check the status of ChronoAgent. With ChronoAgent running properly, it's time to close System Preferences and switch to the ChronoAgent Mac. Watch the next screencast in this three-part series where we create a connection profile on the ChronoSync Mac that connects to this ChronoAgent. If you have any questions about this screencast, ChronoSync, or ChronoAgent, visit our website at econtechnologies.com and submit a question through our product support page.